making moves in a sum of some common or mile over 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will get a chance to showcase their businesses. Each entrepreneur will get an opportunity to pitch for this investment into their business. The judges will use their own discretion. business will go through to our final episode where they will battle it out for the grand prize. Who will I make you moves? In Jalung Kom Som Lugo, go 2 p.m. Quiz APC 1. Mzansi for sure. The biggest barrier to our growth right now as a business is business space. Because we're currently working from home. And this is how, this is where we're taking our 50,000. What method are you going to use? Honestly, I have to go back home and think about that. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. It's time for us to... Read your fate. 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 Ah, uh, little bit unfortunately. Nothing beats the fresh smell of clean pair of shoes. We are going to see that today's party sequence. Ella uhambele pezul. You are fresh. Any of my business, I should give you a call now. Lapanga pang. Let the business be fun and jengle. London, LA, Atul. Pela gebo na buyers polish. Ba pin de footy pass case. Let's do it Atul. Let the business be zinze lapa. Ekol. Namtang. Holy tabogo ena ge utola ituba loguti abela guimani in the bank. Lapo ge kona ge zobe pegene na machachis wetu amatatu. Pela go pindo kumbu loguti ena u computer la ge for ituba loguti simbo na gu top for it. Age simbo na gu tele business. Liti ni yelo. My name is Letabo Mpomukwe na born and bred in Davidson. 25 year old DJ graduate, and I'm the founder and CEO of Workfresh Sneaker Cleaning Company. At Workfresh, we offer the following services sneaker cleaning, color refurbishing, suede cleaning, the sales of accessories, and footwear repair. A client can bring their shoes and get everything done at the same place, and which offers a collection and delivery services for our client. Get in touch with us on our Facebook platforms, Instagram, and Twitter at Workfresh SA, Instagram Workfresh SA, and Facebook Workfresh. Some of the business of the street are so good. I possess like a list in the lapa at every turn in the eastern. Then, since we're in a game in the Zik with corporate communications, what to a game in a game? What is a good aga full of your sevens? I got to a full of sevens in Gagua Sulela, Elake, Pizzella, as well. To a you work fresh. If business, Elikaza, in a game is a tattoo, Zabat. In the Funugas, which is a yinigal and ends, and it's a good title. This is almost so good to your name. It's a Funagu sevens. Sala put the corner, see, find out to go to a work fresh one. It's sevens arrangement. Put a macasman double, Bangoba. Let's have all our hola. Grand Tedrico? None. Oh, yes, in Nandi, 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 we are in those accounts. Sure. Oh, la, la, put on. Ah. Uh, eh, lax, la, Ah. One of our regular clients, a plumada, was showing you what's up, my chance, neighbors, millennials, don't say, no, shallas on us, so I'm here to check them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and you client, I could have any buyers later go. Ah, depending on who's on his line. But when I'm on the let's sell our own because we're busy in Spain, but some, most of our clients we do collections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Coco. Regular, regular client. This guy likes sneakers mm -hmm. and he has like premium sneakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sure. like, I'm not saying you don't just give them to anyone. Yeah. 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 So now just for our control, million pile of Nike size bar, Nike bar, New Balance, Nanana. Okay, sharp. Size bar, 
uh, UK, ne? Yeah. Like UK, UK, yeah, yeah. UK. Yeah, UK aid is just cleaning, ne? Yeah. So, Cooper, my one ginger, I'm sure as well. Looks like one twenty, yeah. Yeah. So, my answer is a lot. A lot. Okay. So, one twenty, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Because we charge depending on the material. Yeah. Even the products we use for that, it's premium products. Yeah. Yeah. Outside, yeah, 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 I won't break it down. I'm a service is got fresh. Okay. Like I like stay fresh. Uh, so we work fresh. We do sneaker cleaning, mm -hmm. shoe shining, mm -hmm. shoe repairing, mm -hmm. color refurbishing. Na mashulo zaki tala suk fagela masha. Ofuna ma ina soles amasha. We get that for you. You know things like that. Every accessory that has to do with shoes. Yeah. We get it for you. and We sell it. Ni pez guy. Yeah. Na so right. So now we use brushes with soft bristles so that it doesn't like tear this. So. Yeah. Shiny soft touch. So please, tell us and uh, so in Amanje, we were working with Nekiwi, mm -hmm. Kiwi Shoe, Shoe Polish, the yes, brand. Sir. Yes, sir. What happened was the Spani Nabo, they gave us a call, I think like, sometime last year. Yeah. September, I'm still to launch work fresh. Yeah. They're like, listen, we like what you guys are doing. We like the way you're packaging it. Yeah. We have an enterprise development campaign that we're running mm -hmm. that we'd like you to be part of. Yeah. We signed the deal. And the relationship is very good because it's based, it's centered on what we need as a, yeah. as a company, as a brand. Yeah. So it's an enterprise development. Basically, materially, they give us financial assistance, they give us resources in terms of our businesses. Yeah. Like recently, we just put in place a financial system yeah. for our business and things like that. When I'm saying, I'm like, how is that? I'm all around at you. I'm like, 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 all around at you. Eskela, I'm doing my third year at Boston. So at school, they were like, we need to get my um, internship. So in these internships, we need to do like practical experience, blah, 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 in like a media department of a company or in a media company. So no, I was like, wait, what fresh has media? They're active on social media. So it, like, it seemed like a perfect opportunity. So yeah, that's how I ended up here. I'm not going to yeah. He's always on the move. Oh, so I would um, be the first one to phone Ulatabo, and then he lets me know who from Walk Fresh is, will, is going to collect from me. And then it's very convenient because they need me wherever I am, really. So they turn around time is quite fast and they meet you wherever's um, convenient for you. They're very open with their communication. So they tell you when they've got the shoes in the workshop and then what they're doing with the shoes and um, how long it's going to take them for them to get to you. So that actually just puts you at ease in the sense that, okay, this is, what's, this is exactly what's happening and this is when exactly I'm going to get my shoes back. Are you making money? Not yet. Why not? Why not? Why not? Litabo has a heart 
and character of a true hustler. Sitangane na yoke lenzi zola paga koko waki. Lapo ke kona gesi tole itu balo uti si koto sani na banga ni futi nomde nuaki. Pela ge ibona ge abanta bazo schela ga banzu guti lenzi zwa. Engu muntu onja. Open, straight to the point. You know, you to have to pay a lot of to have to It's very hard not to like him. And then to have the wrong, the wrong culture. Because we like to have fun. As for the Paula, to be specific. I hold that in terms of when I go quiet, I zang a chinche. I tell my kids school on my melody. I like to have great fun. I think I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I was smart. I was one was smart. So I was one of those kids. The mistress and we had to We would talk about the chumite right. The chumite was a mangle to or not. You're right. You know. So we met go go vet. Nagetana vet. Nagetana UJ. And we stayed in the same building. Nagelum fano zwa bitori na you know go miratla sawa bonya na go bitori. Eh nagelum fano moka simo Davidan Joe. So that in itself, you know, like I don't play it as a twenty, but somehow we clicked because of the shift from township school to varsity. The pressure, like it's it's unmeasurable, you know. I failed varsity the first year, kafela kape the second year, you know. Eh, hila afila kilega mosakare. It's not the end of the world. Kotela until ube ufumani to ibata. And leaving home, my grandma and my cousins, and my aunts, it, it completely changed my life. Kabona, I want to message you. I want a problem. I want to know. I want to talk about sugar. I never, never end up around you. I want to talk about it. So, if you have any marabu, my phone, you can reach me. The the reason you are, I can't reach you. Because now I'm unemployment. I had to find a job. And unfortunately, I did find a job. I was in the nursing department. I was in the CLC. So I had two jobs, and I was also a full time student. So I could, I could pay rent, and I could buy food, and I could still send money to my mom. You know? So, and I think that made me the person I am today. I'm very stubborn with my future. When it comes to money, I tell me that I'm not going to be able to do it. How can I tell you? I'm going to be a budget. Oh, uh, he's, he's resilient. So, one of the things I think that keeps him going is his family, especially Mamai. You know, he, he never had the easiest of upbringings, not at all. And a lot of those things still remain with him. But I feel like the difference between him and Aleva Tuawanchi is that those things motivate him. They literally make him hungry to be more than what he, uh, more than where he came from. Motoring, you know, energy failing way. And and when I say energy, I'm not just talking physically. I'm talking uh, mentally. I'm talking. On many different levels, Kemo Touring is very innovative. We want to be able happy. We want to be able 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 In terms of his weaknesses, I think uh, patience sometimes is, is, a, is, a, is a bit of a weakness on his part. You could have a little talk about that. If you look at the couple, 
hana uri aka i khotlela a i lukisa slowly slowly go batla uri ha ile a e be a when i do something i get a test you know and i i khone not that i khone but i i get carried away so i end up overdoing things you know when sometimes even like with work fresh people are always saying to me will you ever be at a point where by you leave work fresh and i can't answer that you know he's got a very entrepreneurial spirit um but this does not just stem from the fact that he wanted to be a businessman at some point in his life but also because he was forced to do it Tabone pia ku corporate communications godwa ke yena ukhetha ukuba usoma business ibusiness lakhe linde kuhixa hixa libhekene nabo bona ke lobo kuyamvimba ukuthi business lakhe lithuthuke liye phambili nje ngamanje ube nodlwana ondlebe ngo Martin lapho ke khona ke baxoxe ngamasu ambalo angamsiza ukuthi business lakhe lingathuthuka kanjani Ah finally I'm at the making of studios ke tlo mithala mathini fandag and ish I'm kind of excited but I'm also keen to learn so I want to also get For a young man with a university degree Letabo's choice of business is rather intriguing I want to find out about his vision for the business and what he's doing to improve his turnover Letabo welcome nice to meet you Likewise. The shoe man Yes I'm a shoe guy With a university degree what's <laughs> yeah. happening Talk I'm to great. me I'm I'm great Okay So you've got a university degree yes. and you've decided you know what with all the money that I can make in the corporate world yes. I much rather prefer washing shoes <laughs> why what, what what was the driving force uh at the beginning simply because I don't like washing my own shoes <laughs> uh but apart from that um my idea of work fresh was provoked by my when I came back home from varsity after graduating because just like any other graduate you're looking forward to starting a career yeah. working at an agency doing that but when i came back home to take a breather from johannesburg i found my my friends sitting where they were sitting when i left them for varsity okay and i saw a complete imbalance whereby i was in, i was exposed to kids in bramfontein who had dreams and and prosper prospect prospects yeah. of making it big of yeah. doing this of doing that but when i got home kids were sitting there hoping to work at checkers You know, you know, so that that imbalance for me provoked the idea of work fresh. So that's why I decided, okay, no, I can do the career thing later. Let's just try to do something at home first, mm. then we can move on mm. forward. Mm. How did you manage that relationship with your parents? Because obviously they had very high expectations yes. of you. You know what, Letabo is going to go out there, he's going to be the next CEO of yes. some major communications yes. company. Yes. And now you come home and say to them, you know what, I'm actually going to venture into entrepreneurship. My mom specifically, at first she was like, no way. <laughs> She was like anyeke. That's typical mom, right? Yeah, typically, mm. but I think she's a very supportive person. My mom is very supportive. So anything I do, she she believes in me so much that she knows okay, if you want to do it, I know it's going to be a success. Mm. So she sent me down. She's like, "Listen, I need to find a story of telling the ladies at church that you're cleaning sneakers. I need to find a way to make it sound nice, you know? Yeah. But I'm proud of you. You're doing something for your friends, you're doing something for your community. So if anything you need, just let me know." Are you making money? Not yet. Why not? Where's the blockage? The blockage is definitely with sales because we can't be working from home. Okay. And we're doing an average of 150, 140 pairs a month. And we're using a bedroom as storage. Okay. You can't even walk in that bedroom. That's how feel the issue. How many shoes? So now that's blocking even our growth because you get a client that says I have 50 pairs, like one we didn't have TPS. We ended up saying, okay, you know what? Because we don't have space, we'll come to your house. That's how we got a new uh, arm on our business. Say we do in-house services. Okay. We come to your house and we clean them there, then we leave. Obviously, we use uh, the AA to calculate the kilometers. So we say this is a call-out fee, and this is the minimum number of pairs we can come for. So, how many pairs of shoes per day would you need to do to make the business profitable? I'm sure you've done the math. I have. Okay. We'll need to do 150 pairs a day. This includes repairing, this includes cleaning, and this includes like obviously like accessories, the sales of accessories. But that's the rough estimate to keep it afloat for it to make money. Your ecosystem needs to be sound. It needs to be organic, right? 
Now I need to understand how do you how do you combat getting great cobblers in there to be able to do this because it's gonna happen it's gonna yes. have to happen quite quickly. Yes. And what have you got in place to do that? When we started off, honestly, we were a sneaker cleaning company. We we're doing clean sneakers. Then we put in the repairing. So before we started the repairing, I sourced four cobblers in our township, and I said, okay, guys, this is what I'm doing, and I want to work with one of you guys. So we need to see who does the best work. You know, so we finally found our guy. We've had a relationship with him for over eight okay. months now, and he's also we pay him monthly. Okay, so and that really helps you have, with cash flow. It really does. Yeah, it really does. Okay, really that's does. great. And then, as for your clients, um, how do you retain them? It's definitely the quality we offer our clients and the convenience more than anything. So, and also we have benefits. Say, so, okay, just because your clients will give you this shoe tree, just try it out, then let us know how you feel about it, just to make them feel special. Okay, also. but we focus more on the quality. Mm. I always say to my team, we never do what the client can do at home. So we make sure that by the time you get your shoes, you're like, mm, okay, mm -hmm. you call someone, do you remember those shoes you have? I think you need to bring them to these guys. Mm -hmm. So the level of our quality is what we hold on to and we make sure that it, build, it brings us more customers. Okay. Yeah. I think yes. you should really look at going into the corporate field yes. as well and not just focus onto the laundromat side of things, yes. but make it convenient. It could be as easy as a drop box. Yes. I think you can take this thing far and wide. You just need to sit um, for half a day and just strategize and whiteboard yeah. um, this thing wide and deep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm definitely looking out for you. All right. I appreciate that. Great. Yeah. Thank it was you. great having you. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Thank you. It's clear that Latab is passionate and understands his business, but there are some areas that are concerning, particularly with growing his revenues. I'm sending him for a coaching session with one of our seasoned in-house coaches, someone who will help him prepare for the pitch tomorrow. I was honestly looking forward to be grilled, you know? I think that was a cool part about the whole concert session, that she was able to identify things that I wasn't able to identify. And obviously, I'm hoping to meet up with my coach and we can come up with solutions for those. Who is your customer? My customer is someone who cares about their shoes, someone who cares about how they look, like you. Someone who cares about what the ladies say about how they look. And also invest in the shoes. That's my customer. Cool. You are doing shoe repairs, yes. you do cleaning, and also you said the third one is? Uh, color refurbishing uh -huh. and accessories. Amongst the three or of the services, which one are you making more profit? It definitely has to be the sneaker cleaning part of it. Tell me more. So our sneaker cleaning part of it is divided into two, mm -hmm. which is ordinary sneakers mm -hmm. and suede footwear. So most of our revenue comes from the suede footwear, mm -hmm. which makes up over like 75% of our profit margins. Okay. Yeah. And your overheads? We're still a startup, so we're keeping our overheads as low as we can, you know. Like we're still working from home. Oh, okay. So at least with that, the rent is low, you know. And we got endorsement from Kiwi, so material, we get material sponsorship from them. Oh, you know. I but we're always trying to keep up with the overheads. So, but then what are the challenges? Uh, business is really hard, you know, from an overall perspective, running a startup, especially if you don't have a background of business in your family, it's really hard. We, I deal with problems every day, but mainly it has to be cash flow. Okay. It really has to be cash flow and it also has to be access to markets, honestly. Okay. Because we're a young brand, we know what we want to do, but getting opportunities to place our stands at these places and all that, it's a really big barrier for us. Okay. Yeah. He has identified some areas that he needs to be improving. He has identified uh, also some good areas that things that are doing well. And he's very much engaged and, and present in his business. So for me, I think that business is awesome, but the only thing of the nature of that business is worrying me because um, I do believe that uh, they will probably need to find what makes them 
different from other uh, big companies that we already know of and they need to find a competitive edge. So I want to know what will make me yes. come to you? What our brand strategy is based on is, is based on is cultural reengineering, where the normal person will do it themselves. Mm -hmm. The DIY tradition will mm -hmm. sneak a cleaning. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to get to is to re-engineer that culture to say, we can take care of your shoes. The, these are the benefits of us taking care of your shoes, the longevity of your shoes. Mm -hmm. We keep them fresh, not just clean them, but we keep them new for longer. Not everybody that wears an expensive shoe is a client. It, it needs to be something that they understand who is this person that we're looking at and they know where they are and they go for, for that. I think we do understand it, but we need someone who's outside of work fresh, someone who has business experience, who can actually say to us, no, actually, let's have this is who your client is. And I think that's what I got from it to say, you need to break it down to the T, who your client is. What are the threats in your business? The first threat has to be the fact that what we do, it's almost like a no-brainer. Anyone can do it, uh -huh. you know. So now we have people popping up out of nowhere, you know. Mm -hmm. There's like a company doing this, the same thing that we're doing, you mm -hmm. know. So things like that. And also, I think expansion. And I'm saying it's a threat because once we, if we don't get it right, it can kill us. Our, it can kill our business. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know? In that business, I can tell you, a competitor is a, is a house helper at home who is able to wash and look after those uh, sneakers. Uh, you know, so we need to really start uh, some kind kind of proof, uh, uh, soundproofing the, the 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 model a bit in a way that is um, sustainable, and it can actually grow into something greater, maybe into a franchise or any model that can be attractive to other people. I think for for a budding young entrepreneur like me, you just think. Ah, I need access to markets, but she actually made me realize that, okay, if I do get access to market, what am I going to do with it? You know, so that's, those are the questions that I need to go back home and say, okay, cool. Let's say I do get 300 people a month, what am I going to do with it, you know? So she, she raised my eyebrows and things like that. So now should we um, get some money to assist with uh, your business? Where would you start with it? Where do you think is the, most, the best place to invest in? I would definitely invest in space. Uh -huh. We want to go get more sneakers, but our storage room is a bedroom. Uh -huh. When you open the door, when you step, there's someone's shoes you're stepping on. Sometimes we have to share the shoes, me and my friends, okay? Say the talk about these will sleep at your house. You wow. know? So if we could get space, it will help us a lot and also we'll be able to have services in-house. Do you get enough business to afford you to afford rent at this point? So our idea was to get a shipping container uh -huh. get space allocated from the municipality and convert the shipping container into a, into a shop. And you've identified a location we've where you've identified you the put space, that. we've spoken to the municipality. Mm -hmm. We're just in the process of confirming the, the lease agreement. What, tell me about the location. What, is, what made that location attractive for you to put your shop? To so think it to be viable? It yeah. So it's, it's close to where we are based right now. Uh -huh. It's like the same street where we are based, and it's the main road. Uh -huh. So Davidson is divided into two. It's Davidson and Etuatua. I see. So I see. everyone has to drive through that place. Oh. So it's almost like More a like hospital. an intersection it's a, yes, kind of... Yes, everyone has to drive through uh -huh. that to go to the mall. Uh -huh. You can't go to the mall without driving through that. So uh -huh. it's the main road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how much are these things? Have you shopped around for something that you, you are looking at? So we've shopped around, we've, we've spoken to a couple of people who are willing to do the designs, we've got the quotation, and the whole job is worth around 85000 But we want to break it into three steps. Mm -hmm. So we want to have the first part where we actually get the container uh -huh. so we can start working, so we can start getting more shoes. I see. Then the second part will be us changing the look and feel mm -hmm. because it represents our brand and we really want to translate what we do and who we are. Wow. And I was saying to my team, I want the two second stages to be funded by the business mm -hmm. instead of us taking money, taking money and putting into that. I see. Yes. One advice I would give you is as you do that, really try to increase your clientele. There isn't anything as you really move into a container and still not getting enough clients. Yes. So I think we need to work on the strategies on how you can access more What's the that? market yes. so that you can increase on your... Uh, demand yes. and by so doing you know that whatever you are going to venture into will be sustainable yes. but thank you so much I think your thank business you. is awesome. awesome it's a matter of just polishing here and yeah. there yeah. but you are doing a great job thank you so much I thank, appreciate you. It. thank you going forward for tomorrow's pitch I need to take what I learned here today 
and intertwine it with what I've known, you know, and see where the, the synergy is and actually be able, be able to articulate it to the judges and say, this is who you are, this is what we want to do, and this is what we can do with the 50,000. And I think most importantly, to have fun. Like, I'm just trying to be here and have fun. It's day two in studio. Letabo from Walk Fresh will be pitching to the judges. Remember, today he is pitching to get into the top four. 50,000 Rand is at stake. Letabo? Show me. Okay, show me. Thank you. Okay. Is all the money left? Sang an element to Sure. Not Sana. Sure. Not to Chella is into the business lap. What needs and is in the visa for Nam Sanchez? Are you ready? I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. You don't sound convincing for Indo Tetir. When's Anja? Slightly nervous, but I'm ready. I'm ready. He I'm ready. Ready. I'm a nervous. I'm a command, Anja. Yeah, but I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm a pitching to Zakus. You are a listen to. I've done a couple of pictures before. Mm -hmm. I've done a couple of pictures before. Yeah, well, well. I just hope I'm able to articulate everything that I have in my mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you prepare any for a picture? I'm late. I'm late? Sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, before you talk, I'm going to charge now. I'm going to show you my tattoo. I'm going to show you now. A lot of our lads. I'm going to show you how to do it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. All the questions are right. I'm going to show you how to Bugeli in Sizwa captured short and sweet in Pendulozai. Washo would your foot corner and open nervousness. I guess Bonnie would get a manga in Sizwa Lenage, a peach ala Payanagi. Will he walk fresh? Simbone was cabest land alive. No my car. Welcome back. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Great. Are you relaxed? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you ready? I'm ready. Did you have sleep this night? Yes, I did. Okay, yes. so I'm joined uh, by the fellow judges, uh, Busiletso and Nicholas, okay. and we're very keen to hear about your business. You have four minutes to pitch your business to us, and your four minutes starts right now. Hi, everyone. My name is Lesabo Mpumagwena and I'm the founder of Workfresh Sneaker Cleaning and Sugar Company. At Workfresh, we pride ourselves in our craft and the level of convenience that we offer to our clients. We offer the following services, sneaker cleaning and suede, and suede cleaning, footwear repairs, leather polishing and color refurbishing, and the sales of accessories like shoelaces and inner soles, with an added value service of collections and delivery of footwear. So in our first year of business, we've cleaned a total of 2,257 pairs of footwear with a team of three and now we're currently averaging at 188 pairs a month, with a total turnover of 15,000. So now, with the growing increase of our services and a growing increase of our clientele of repeat customers, the biggest barrier to our growth right now as a business is business space, because we're currently working from home. And this is how, this is where we're taking our 50,000. This is a bigger picture for our business, we want to do a fresh business, because we're a fresh brand, we want to have a fresh shop, and this is where we're going to invest our, our money, the 50000 But this is this container as a whole, the, the project is worth 85000 So because we have current business needs and we have to come up with solutions, we've divided the project into three, which is where we're going to now invest the first 50000 in the first phase of the, of the container. So with the, with the 50,000, we have it divided into two purposes. 34,500 goes into the actual container, which is the transportation of the container, the security of the container, the foundation, and the insulation inside of the container. And having taken into consideration my conversations with my mentor and my team, and the points that they've highlighted, which is the need for skills development in terms of the craft, the repairing craft, and also me being able to identify a revenue that we're going to make money from with the container. We've decided to invest 15,500 towards buying machinery, repairing machinery, which will also lead us to having our, our repairer in-house. And the advantages of having a container 
instead of going with the normal brick and mortar, it's because it's affordable, it has low cost maintenance, and we can fully customize it to our needs. So with the container, we're projecting a 30%, because now if we have the container in house, we're projecting a 30% increase in our sales. You have a minute and a half left. How, what are we attributing this 30% increase in our, in, our, in our sales? It's because now that we have the container, we're cutting the cost of us traveling to our cobbler. We're also building the brand identity and now we're getting people interaction with our brand. And also, we're able to maximize on the turnaround time of our repair services because currently we have to take the shoes to repair or wait for them to finish them. But now with the container and the repairer in-house, we're able to maximize on that and we're also able to impart skills to some of our staff members because the repairer will also be there. And thank you so much. You have 15 seconds left. Is there anything else you want to tell us? There's nothing else I want to tell you guys. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So exciting. Why did you Be stop involved. so early? I was nervous. So I had to decide which points that I want to include. Who is your customer? My customer is someone who cares about their shoes, someone who cares about how they look, like you. Someone who cares about what the ladies say about how they look. <laughs> and also invest in the shoes. <laughs> That's my customer. Cool. I'm very much interested with the research you might have had. Uh, I do believe you can't just go and put container without doing a thorough yes. research and understanding whether you will access the market that yes. you are targeting. Yes. What kind of research have you done? So with the research that we've done, currently even with the placement of our business right now, it was a strategic placement. It's the main road of Davidson and it's the, the, the intersection between the mall and the rest of the township. So everyone who goes through the, to, to the mall has to go through our, to, uh, our container. I know that applying for the rights to put your container, they might take some time. When do you think this plan has to be uh, coming through? And have you already started with the uh, process of applying so, for the container? So right now, I have currently have the permission to use the space. I'm just waiting for the municipality to write it off because with them writing it off means they have to assign people to install the tabs and the electricity. Yeah. So I currently have the permission to use the space. Okay, of course. Yes. I just need to understand your phases. You said in phase one, you're going to be using 34,500 rands of, of, the, of the money for the container. Yes. And the 15,500 is yes. for machinery and stock. Yes. Which machinery and stock are you going to be purchasing, Letabo? So for repairing, the main machine you need is a finisher. It's called the finisher. Okay. With the finisher, you can glue shoes, you can finish soles, you can do everything. So is that the one we see when we walk into yes, a cobbler? Yes, okay. that's the big And what is yes. the cost of that machine? 12500 Okay. And stock, I'm assuming, is your leather, your heels, yes, your tips, your, heels, your, tips and all, your, all of those yes. types of stuff. I'd like to understand how, after how long, the inv investment of 15500 into that area, how long will it take for you to recoup that investment? My estimate will be six months. Methodology for training the people that are going to come under your wing and grow. What method are you going to use? Honestly, I have to go back home and think about that. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, Letabo. Thank you. Uh, we have great insight into your business. What Thank we'll you. do as judges now, we'll deliberate. Um, You'll leave and then we'll call you back with your fate. Okay, thank you Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thank, well you. thank you. Thank uh, you. I think it went okay. Like the judges said, I could have said more, but I, I feel like I've highlighted the points that I, I felt were necessary for the page and were necessary to give the judges the insight into my business. So I think it went okay. It's time for us to read your fate. fate? Sure. So you can some clean so it's yeah. That was quite an interesting business, right? Oh yeah. Mm. 
Actually, I was amazed that he couldn't answer the last question yesterday with, on our mentoring session. He was clear in terms of how he see the skill being transferred from the people, that, the guy who, whom he wants to hire, to other employees, but he couldn't say that. So I don't know whether he was scared or he was afraid. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, I'm really worried. I mean, I, I'm again, you know, I don't want an entrepreneur stuck in the the scenario that their business is about washing shoes mm -hmm. when there's a huge opportunity to assist community so directly tie into government strategy in terms of revitalization of township economies community economies etc um, and he can play such an integral part because um, being a cobbler is such a scarce skill that, that we don't have cobblers in South Africa at the moment mm -hmm. Nicholas your thoughts he started okay and he's made good progress mm -hmm. he understands his business model mm -hmm. Every month, 188 shoes, it gets me X. Mm. He's painted a short-term picture. Mm. So for that, I give him props. When I was in the picture, I was like, I Yeah, I'm not to speak, you know, I think it was nice. Uh, what's important was that I was able to articulate into my phone negotiation mm -hmm. that would put my business aside from the rest, so I think I'm happy. We were going to give him a chance to enjoy the Ponta and Yambus and Dota, but Busa, you were going to give him a boost. Uh, I mean, it can, because that's where you learn, you know, even when you don't understand something, you need to go back home and actually go into it. So, I mean, in Booz, I'm always welcome for that, because we're here to learn at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. He's not yet a master, he's still in training himself. Mm -hmm. So let's allow him to mess up. But because he's got a short-term plan that is practical and it's backed up by numbers, mm -hmm. I'm a fan of him. Mm. Because he looks sharp and he actually is what he says his brand is, mm. I'm a fan of him. Because he actually wants to help the community, yep. I'm a fan of him. Mm. So he's ticked three critical boxes for me. Guys, I disagree. Brilliant, bring your mm -hmm. argument. Let's hear. I disagree. I really don't think that he understands the critical expansion of his business right now. That's and fine. where it's going. Um, it's fine bringing me pretty boxes and showing me all the graphics and, and that makes me feel good and it, it makes me think that you understand your business. But I'm not convinced that he's gone back um, from yesterday until today and really thought about what the process of expansion is. Okay. I wouldn't call what he's doing an expansion. I would call him solving a problem that he's currently faced with. Problem number one, storage. He's working from home. It poses uh, a risk for the client's uh, stock that is stored in the house. He doesn't have a place to work at because they're working from a friend's house. That on its own, it's a problem for a business, especially the nature of business where you have to take my shoes and take it to your home in the bedroom where I'm not sure where I'll get them back. So I, th I think where he is, he's not expanding. He's solving problems that he's in he has incurred for a year. So expansion will happen after this has been put in place. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Are we ready to call him back? So again, this is what you have to say about it. Next round. Yeah, I see the charge. I see the charge. I'm not going to say No, I see the charge. I see, I'm confident. You I'm confident. I know work fresh. I've yes. been doing work fresh every day for the past year. So I'm confident with work fresh. But we'll hear the charges. Yeah, we'll back. Yeah. Shona Kona against Izo. So it's with Tamacha. She's in the same way. Thank you. I guess Izo would take a match charges. One at tea. Tabo, yes. welcome back. Thank you. How do you think you did? Uh, I think I did fairly good. Could have done more, but I did fairly good. What do you think you could have done more? I uh, could have elaborated more on the container, on how we're planning to get more money from it and all that, but I think I did good. Okay. Yeah. On a scale of one to 10? Seven. <laughs> okay. Very confident <laughs> young man, right? Yeah. Okay, so as judges, we've deliberated and we'd like to give you some feedback um, 
on your business. Uh, I'm going to start uh, with the madame on the corner. Uh, um, the feedback from me is um, you need to really go back and um, get that letter signed. Yes. You have already identified the location. Ensure that you, it happens um, quicker at the time frame that you have set yourself to be starting there. Yes. Thank you. Something that's, that's quite important at the moment is succession of your yes. business. And I think we can see by the rapid growth of your business that you know you, you're growing quite quite quickly. Yes. Okay, because you, the word's going. It's something. It's something. It's something good. It's something uh, funky. It's talking to the masses out there. But the one aspect that I'm not seeing is that you've you've come in here and shown how you're going to actually train and develop others like you. Remember, Letabo is your business, and you're needing to create more of you. And I'm not seeing that come through, Letabo. Yes. And we had this chat yesterday. Yes. So I really want you to go and apply yourself and see how you're going to impart the skill one and, and apply that into the expansion. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Nicholas? What I think is critical for you is how are you going to remain fresh? Yes. Right now, your operation works because you are wonderful. Yes. So when the thing multiplies and with having 10 wonderful yous on the team, you can look at being sustainable if you put everything in check. So your mastery, your mastery right now is to figure that out. And I need you to do that for your own good. So the minute that letter gets signed and the minute the people start bringing in 250 pairs and the minute you said, I'm going to go to a township in Pretoria, I'm going to go to a township in KZN, people want my brand, you've got some of the stuff in place to help make you sustain. Definitely. That would be my dream and my wish for you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's time for us to read your fate um, and tell you whether you're moving on to the next round or not. Uh, and I'm going to ask Pusileto to, to share your fate with you. Pusileto? Ah, let's have unfortunately. We couldn't hold, help ourselves to be excited and say, you are moving into the next round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much. You. Did you expect that? Unfortunately, that almost killed me. <laughs> But thank you so much. Thank you for so All much. the best. Thank Go you. and do these it. things, right? Thank Hope you. to thank see you, you soon. Great. Cool. Thank you. The way forward for the business right now is to get the letter and complete the other two tasks and grow honestly. Honestly, as a business, the, 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 the idea is to keep going and to keep growing. So that's the way forward for us.